Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. In the last episode, we got started with our adventure through Midnight Mountain and got the main overworld and two levels done. There is plenty more left to do in today's episode, so we might as well go ahead and get started with it. We have already done the Crystal Islands, and I think over this way, yeah, there is Desert Ruins. So we'll be hopping into this one right away, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Oh, look at this place. Those guys are creepy, I don't like them. Hello, you must be Spyro. I've heard a lot of people talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, but I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but, you know, there's all these scorpions. Oh, yeah. That's a good reasoning. So let's go and out, try to deal with them. I figured that they were like, it looked like they were made of metal, so I figured I'd try to charge them before I tried to torch them. That was a bad idea. All right, well, we, we took care of them. You do not care. Okay, there might be plenty more scorpions to worry about before we have to move forward. Okay, this area looks super cool. Now that's a scorpion. Oh no. I don't like this level already. It's scary. But luckily, no matter how big they are, they always get taken out in one hit. That's a lazy good thing, I guess. Oh, here's a smaller one. I mean, I thought they were big before, but now I know they're the little guys. Okay, ooh, he got me there too. They're tough too. All right, let's go ahead and get these gems on the palm of this statue. Isn't that cool? I like it. We have to find a key somewhere around here. Whoa, you're lighting this whole place up now. You, I definitely have to charge. Yep, that worked, good. And I see this dude. Get him, wait, get him again. Ow, geez, you guys are really good at doing that, you know? I don't have too many hits left. Go for it, and then go, 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 go! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. And boom, hit you, get this lizard for some health back, that's good. All right, this is already a fast-paced level. I like it. Let's get the checkpoint from Zoe if we haven't already. Thank you, Zoe. Don't you dare. Okay, whoa, whoa, this platform is descending. Uh, how was I supposed to know? Ow, ow, what? <laughs> Darn it, I should have just, should have went back. I don't know why I tried to keep going forward. This is a cool level so far, but I was not expecting it to be just so crazy right off the bat, so. Love to get sort of warmed up with everything. But it will be basically our goal in today's episode is to tackle everything in this uh, overworld that isn't the sorceress. So once we get everything done, we'll be finished up for today's episode before the sorceress, and that'll be cool. As much as we possibly can get done, after all. And, oh, that was bad timing. Oh no, it was great timing, never mind. Got him. And then, let's quickly get over here before he attacks. Nope, didn't work. Jeez Louise, this is one crazy level so far, and we can't even go into the water. Oh, I do see those purple gems over that way, though. Because it's all poison and nasty. Oh, it's money bags. Hi, buddy. Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. Not really. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem, but it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I may. You want 800 gems. Okay, fine. Very well, then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible. <laughs> All right, great, great. You're such a jerk. Okay, there was no password. I was standing in front of the wall switch. What are you going to do, sue me? I mean, maybe one day, buddy. Maybe oh. one day. Okay. <laughs> so, with that being said, we, we're starting to learn... Oh, gosh. Lower on our gem count. We're not to be a bit careful. Can you guys stop trying to zap me? Thank you. Oh boy. Get him quick. That doesn't do the job I was hoping it would do. Got him. Oh my gosh, there's so many crazy enemies around here. This seems like it's gonna be quite the tough level if we take a look at the map. Like there's so many little different islands to get to. We've gotten to quite a few of them already, but there seems to be plenty more. And I know there was the other path, but what is going on up here? Uh, oh hey! Who are you? You're very tall. Well, well, look at you, showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. Well, I'll take it, Tara. I think I understand now. <laughs> Reference to another popular <laughs> PS1 character, Lara Croft. I think that's actually pretty cool. But what about, what about your, your boyfriend? Okay, maybe that's not actually his boyfriend, or her boyfriend. <laughs> maybe, maybe he just likes to think that. I have no clue. Anyways, go ahead and get you, and blast that thing. So we did pretty good there, just making our way around. There's still plenty more left to find. It looks like she sort of 
busted this area open. Yeah, what happened to that dude? I hope he didn't get aimed by the scorpions. That'd be a shame. <laughs> but hey, we got plenty left to explore in this level. That is for sure. So let me get started with that. Uh, turning back around, because I was a sort of going whatever way felt right and end up being, I guess, the correct way. So we just gotta backtrack through everything now and get everything we may have missed. And, oh, come on, I can't see. Oh, it's baloney. All right, well, okay, now I can see a little bit more. The camera just like didn't really adjust to that. Weird. Okay, getting, to, okay, you go, be gone. This level's really tough, but I got everything. And what's going on this way? Oh, we've already sort of kind of been here, but I need to be over here again for 25 gems and that, which is much easier, <laughs> much, much easier when there's no more enemies around. So it, it should be at least getting up here. Come on. Almost. You got it, Spyro. Perfect. So what was the other way? There was like a little hole over here. I'm gonna slam down, because I'm just reckless. That could have been a bit to my doom, I don't know. But hey, look at this. This is a portal. Anything interesting going on behind me? Not really. Oh, it's all underwater. Well, this is sort of refreshing after all the poisonous water outside. Whoa, look at these guys. Oh, it's Hunter. Hey, Hunter, how you doing? I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology. Super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride them and try blasting some sharks? Of course I do. Ride the manta ray and shoot the sharks, yes. watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. Well, that doesn't sound very fun. Okay, we'll do what we can about this. We have like a little speed up button. We have our blasters. And we gotta take care of these Rhinox. Oh gosh, he almost hit me there. This is a little weird so far. Ah, he got me. Oh, and it's a Try one hit takedown. Hit by the exploding ammo, okay? I don't want to scare off my new pet. Ready to well, try me neither. again? Yeah, I do want to try right again. On. But <laughs> that's gonna be really difficult then if it's a one hit takedown like that. And maybe it was just because I didn't have much for sparks, but I don't think so. I think it might have actually been because this guy only takes one hit. What? I tried to shoot it away. The Try controls are it. weird right. so far. Just like some other Hunter segments we've had in Spyro 3. This one just feels a little jerky in a way. So I basically cannot right. follow behind them because I shoot that missile and it's basically impossible to avoid. Weird. And these shots aren't easy to make from far away. Like I said, the controls are a little jerky in a way. Um, Can I get you maybe? It'd be great if I had a reticle. Like I actually wouldn't be that bad if I had a reticle. But since I don't, it's just, it's really, really odd. Got him, that was a really lucky shot. Come on, that got him. Two more left to get, can we get it and get lucky here? Where might they be? Um, Maybe inside of here? I have not seen them. Oh, here we go. Okay, good, he didn't shoot at me. One last shark should be running around here somewhere. There he is, come on. Come on, yeah, we got him. Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Ah, so they're still hanging out? All right, we get Sadie. Are you a woolly mammoth? You're not, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> You're still a dragon. Okay, is there more from you? I'm not sure, let's try to talk to you again if it'll let me. Uh, nope, just one shark shooting. That's fine with me, there's still plenty more left to explore. I would love to explore it with you. Maybe I should have. Maybe, let me go back up to Hunter. Maybe I can start riding it again, because, no. Oh, no, triangle, there we you go. You can ride the manta ray around just for fun if you like. I would love have to, fun. because there's some stuff around here I need to bust, so I would like to get that figured out now. So, <laughs> come on, you can get that, there you go. Um. Yeah, there were a couple. Yeah, like that right over to our left. So I'm gonna snag that right now. Just boom, perfect. I don't need to exactly get it right now. I just need to be able to have it available to be gotten when we turn back to normal Spyro. So if there's any more, there's probably like one up here, right? There's not, huh, surprising. Okay, is there any way to dismount him? How do I get off? Uh, maybe I just gotta go up the Hunter and talk again? No. Huh, I, I do not know how to get off of him. I'm pressing all the buttons. Okay, well then we'll just chill out with them for now. It's a lot of gems to get though. There's gotta be a way to get off them. Weird. Huh. Getting all of these, perfect. 
and got it. The controls are just a little weird for doing something as specific as putting, picking up gems, you know? And I'm sure there's gonna be some I miss, which is why I need sparks, but I can't get sparks to look around. It's very odd. Nothing up there, right? What if I just try to leave? I'm sure that will get the, the manta ray off of us. It's so cool though, I really like it. And there we go. You can ride the manta ray around. Maybe okay. later. Oh wait, wait, what does that say? You can ride the man. Okay. By the way, if you see Bianca around, can you tell her to meet me here? I uh, promised I'd give her scuba lessons once the sharks were gone. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, it looks like we saved Hunter's date. Uh, what's going on up here? Oh, don't tell me I missed more stuff. No, this way, okay. I'm good. Yeah, definitely all the stuff up here. And now Sparks wants me to go straight down. I'm gonna go over here first. Hold on, buddy. Get those two. Because we probably have to have a massive, yeah, 700 gems, and I'm working on it. And now over this way? Alrighty. Yep, two right here. Good job finding those. And then probably another one on, yeah, over here. That's a sneaky one right here. And another one this way? Or is it? Is, is he telling me to leave? I think he's telling me to leave. I believe so. So let's get up here and like once I'm right in front of the portal. Yep, he's telling me to skedaddle. Okay, so we got everything done in this area. That is perfect. We can keep going. Because we still have to get, what, 200 and, um, 59, 259, yep. So if I turn around, go back where we came from when we passed money bags, who was here, I guess he skedaddled, right? Maybe not. Well, he was around there before, and there was more than one path to go around here. Or maybe this is the other path now. Okay, I got it. Boom, get him before he attacks me. Yeah, these guys are new. Slam on this thing for sure. There's definitely some more stuff over that way as well. Interesting. I'll tackle it soon enough. Get up here for now. I love the music in this game. I love the music in the entire trilogy. But I don't know, the music in this one's really good. I like it. Go ahead and boom, get rid of you. Perfect. Get an extra life. And Butterfly Hunter. Oh, that's cool. Got a trophy for that one. I wonder what that means. Maybe we've gotten 100 like blue butterflies or something. And let's get across to this one. No! <laughs> Almost got it, but not quite. Oh, and here's another egg. Perfect. It's Andy. Hi there, Andy. Oh, bless you. Hope you find a tissue soon. And that's 119 eggs. There's still plenty left to find over this way, though. So I gotta get to it. And that's a Sheila area over there. It's sort of a shame we haven't found an area for Ancient Nine ever since we unlocked him. A little odd, too, because usually that's the first thing we'll find if we unlock a new character. What is with that? You can't stand those platforms for very long at all. They sink real fast, and once they start sinking, you really can't do much about it. Okay, there we go. Got it, very good. And there's another egg waiting for us. It's Nelly. so back-to-back -back eggs. Looking pretty good to me. Oh, hi, Nelly. I like your glasses, goodbye. And... Gotcha. And ooh, there is definitely a secret wall over this way. What is this going to be? Whoa, 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 everywhere. A couple of gems are definitely worth getting. Wow, look at this place. Ah, oh, that is super cool. Look at our view from up here. And the key, I totally forgot about that thing. I just totally slipped my mind. All right, well in the meantime, we have a gem waiting for us right here. I think we've already been over here. Yeah, I, I believe we have. I just missed that one purple gem. So there's a couple of things to worry about before we move on with the the key chest. These guys look so cool, I love those dudes. But I think the first thing is getting back up here because this gives us a good vantage point. Because it was something else, I just don't know quite how to reach it, but I think it might be up here is the, like, the answer for us. And boom, get rid of that. Get up like this. Like over there, you see that? Uh, yeah, I guess the best way to do that would be to jump onto that hand, which we should be able to do from here, and then we can do the Sheila thing. All right, let's hope. Whoa! No! Darn it! We still might be able to do it, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it's done. Weird. It's a tough jump for sure. Get back up there. And try just like a little bit more of a, there we go, a straighter angle is what I needed. Boom, got a good couple more right there. So what does that have us at? Only 119 more left to go, and boom. 
What does it say? Come on in, Sheila. <laughs> Alrighty. Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? I guess so. And that's exactly what she's doing. Oh, I get it. It's an old school platformer. <laughs> the yesteryear. Oh, that's such a cool idea. Okay, um, watch it, buddy. You are scary. The only problem about this is that I can't really see what's coming at us. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was imagining. Um, ready, boom, gotcha. This is very, very interesting indeed, I like it. So far, so good too. The only problem is that I don't have sparks right now, so if I get hit even once, could be a bit of a problem. Can I, can I get you? There we go. That was a little weird. And kick ya. Good stuff. It looks super cool. Oh no. Oh, I made it. And I made it again. And that's Lester. Looks like there's more to the right, though. Oh, don't cry, Lester. It's all right. There you go. Good boy. There is more. All right, kick ya. So if you just wanted the egg, though, I guess you could turn around at that point. Wait, this is just normal water here. Interesting, oh, hey, rude, I didn't even get up here before you zapped me. Mm, get rid of you. We haven't seen those blue ones outside of this area. We've seen like some that look like that, but a different color. Yeah, let's jumble, double jump, whoa. Oh, ah, oh, no, she got burned. I'm so sorry, I couldn't see what was down below. Ah, oh, that stinks, I gotta do it all again, I think. All right, there we go, boom, gotcha that time. The thing is, is that you can slam like that. I totally had forgotten that's something you could do. And then go, go, kick ya. Okay, luckily the, the, the flames like immediately dissipate the second you do that, which is good, because I just don't have any sparks hits around here. Got him. Okay, there was one more extra hit, I guess. Whoa, we're jumping super high up. One more gem and another egg waiting for us. It's Pete. Hi, Pete. Nice hat. We've seen this hat a couple times now, though. I like it, it's a good hat. 122 eggs and all six eggs from this area, very good. So with that done, uh, oh, that was called Crash Kangaroo. Like, of course, the Crash Bandicoot side-scrolling stuff. Oh, I love that. So the, really the only thing we should have left in theory, unless we missed a couple of gems, would be the, the treasure chest. So let's hope that's the case and get back over here. Because it was, yeah, fairly early on. It was just right over this way. So let's get to it, come on. This has been quite the tough first level of the episode. And what do we got inside? It is. A bunch of stuff, and that's it. 700 out of 700, and we should just be able to loop around from over this way, I sure hope so. If there's the end of the level right there. I love how they usually have the end of the level spot right where the beginning of the level is, just sort of out of reach from the beginning of the level. That way you can loop around and get everything done again if you need to. That's always a nice idea. But okay, with that done, we have over 3,000, almost 4,000 gems, and things are going pretty decently, if you ask me. So I can only hope that can continue. Because I think there's a still a good chunk of levels I plan on doing in today's episode, more than last episode for sure. Okay, so now we've completed, of course, the overworld. We've completed Crystal Islands, the Agent Nine level. Now Desert Ruins, yeah. I was gonna say Desert Sands, but that didn't seem all too original. Now this is the Sorceress level, so I don't have to worry about this too much. Let me turn back around, because I do think there's a level down this way. Yep, this is the Haunted Tomb. Oh, we got more deserty stuff, right? Well, that'll be interesting. Oh, oh, look at this cool dog. Ah, yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Sure thing. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? A pyramid, right? I'm thinking a pyramid. Don't try to answer the riddle now. Oh. <laughs> You'll need to save your breath to survive the trials of the catacombs. Alrighty, well, we'll give that a shot. The trials of the catacombs. I'm pretty sure it's a pyramid, though. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go ahead and try to beat everybody up. That was a cool sarcophagus that had a Rhinoch in it. I like that. So this is deep in a catacomb indeed. What do I gotta do with this? I press the button. Will the door close? Close? Not close. 
All right, go down this way. There are more Rhinox chasing me. What will this do? I guess that reopens the door if I need it to. I don't think I need it to. And can we swim in this water? I don't think so. Because it's, oh, there's a fish jumping out. I'll leave it for now. I have a feeling that we can't. That will just drown in it for no discernible reason. All right, get this dude. Uh, he is not looking very nice, and I can't get him that way? Can I torch him or no? Okay, you move. Ow, I guess I can't. How do I get you? Probably by that little sarcophagus turtle shell you have on the back of you. All right, well, you can die really quickly in this game if you're not careful. Let's get back to it. Reigniting. Man, the loading screens take a long, a long time. Maybe I'm just impatient. Might be a mixture of the two. Let's get back out there. Be gone, you. Is, is that the same dog? No, it's probably a different dog. Usually, they all look the same, or they're very, very similar, but they are different characters if you pay attention to the names. So I don't know what to do about you for now. I guess I just gotta dodge you. Oh, you guys are scary. How do I get you? I mean, I guess I just charge it back, but maybe when you're not charging me, I don't know. Aye, aye, aye. What does this button do? I don't know yet. There's like a lot going on here. Taking me a second to digest all of this. What am I doing about you? You're just in my way right now. I can't torch you. I can't charge you. There has to be something I can do, right? They're like the golems from Spyro 2 right now. Those guys were like impossible to defeat as well. Oh, there's gotta be something I'm missing with them. I probably got like a power up later on. We'll have to wait and see. Right now though, ow! Falling rocks from nowhere. I don't like that very much. Ow, where are they coming from? Ow, I can't move! Nobody help! Where are they coming? Are they just coming from some unknown spot? They are. Weird. This level's super weird so far. And you guys are still throwing stuff at me. I'm guessing that I, I definitely have to press this button and run over this way. Jeez Louise, and there's another one! Leave me alone! Like, I feel like I'm missing something here. Got it. And got you. These guys, do they not drop any gems? Do they have some other purpose? What about you? You drop gems? You don't. I mean, you're still gonna try to attack me. Is there a way to destroy this as well that I'm missing? Oh, I can eat it and spit it right back at you. Yeah, that's it. All righty then. Hell, I get it. I'm, I'm going back then. I'm showing you guys who's boss. Throw one of those again. See what happens. Go ahead, do it. Oh, he knows now. He heard his friend get taken out. I want to see. Can it destroy these? Oh, it can. Gotcha. So I probably don't want to take them all out right now. I wait, 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 lose my chance. No, oh, no, those disappeared. I needed those. Hold on. Grab this one. And then way at the beginning, there was more. So I wanna get to that. There was this sarcophagus, which we can definitely take out now. And that dropped the yellow gem as well. That's making a lot more sense to me. That's for sure. Okie doke. So now we can run through again. Now that I've solved all of your mysteries, throw something at me. See what happens. I'll pick it up and throw it back at you twice as hard if I land it. There it is. <laughs> okay, very cool. I get it now. That, that's really satisfying. Got that gem. And I think I have found everything there is to find from around here. There's another butterfly hanging out, but at this point, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. The last time I tried to get it, I got immediately hit again. Um, so let's go ahead and press this button, turn around, and run for it. Now that I know all of the tricks. I mean, I don't have one for here though, unfortunately. Or for these two. So maybe soon I'll find more of those popping about. Because for right now, this thing is just sort of inaccessible in that way. I can at least get rid of you though. Did that hurt us? No, it did not, good. There's a couple more gems hanging around. I wanted to try to grab. And where's the button for the door? It was right here. So press it and run for it. We got it. Get rid of that thing. Because we still have 700 gems again in this level as well, of course. Ow, Ooh, what do we do about this one then? Is there any like rhyme or reason to it? I don't think so. Ow. I mean, maybe there is, maybe it's just the shadows. Maybe I just gotta pay attention to those. Cause I was trying to, that was really odd. Didn't we just get a checkpoint there though? I think we did. Or at least very, very close by. 
So I'm not entirely worried. But let's hope we're not too far off. Yeah, we're just right here. So press that button again, get on in there, take you out because why not? And pay attention to the shadows. Okay, we're good. Dodge those shadows, ow. Honestly, the area on which they can hit is quite large though, you gotta be careful. Ow, there they go again. And it's hard to watch shadows when I'm trying to collect so many gems and is this door closed? It's actually not, surprising. There we go. Maybe that one's not timed. And is she gonna give us a checkpoint again? Please do, please do. Thank you. Another one of you over there, I'm gonna need you, so you stay put. Hmm. But now the only way I'm gonna get one of these back over to that other sarcophagus is to like go all the way back around. I might just wanna leave that guy, just in case. Or one of them. Maybe not this dude. There we go, because he seems to be in the way of some important stuff or something. Whoa, watch it there, doggy. And an egg, oh cool, it's Christine. Well, hello, Christine. How are you? Oh, not good. I'm sorry. It'll be okay. What egg, that was our first egg, actually. <laughs> I haven't been doing a very good job of finding those. Uh, I'm gonna charge you, ow, but you charge me. There's a whole mess of stuff going on. So you know what? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. This is a very weird level. Where's the button at? Probably back this way. Oh, is that what this button was for? Oh, I sure hope not, but it's looking like it. How weird is this? I mean, maybe not. Oh no, it just opens that door. <laughs> All right, well that was an unnecessary risk I just took. Come on, run quick, run quick, run quick. Ooh, yeah, it was right here, right? I think so. Yep, it's open. Okie doke, more falling rocks, really? Is this really necessary? It's just so hard to tell where the shadow is, especially with these puddles. The puddles make it even more difficult. What a weird choice. You wanna make sure that the, the ground is as light as possible in areas where you need to pay attention to darkened shadows. Really weird. All right, rocks are falling everywhere. I think I might have missed a gem. I did. Gosh darn it. <laughs> keep going. Just keep charging. Maybe everything will be okay. So, buddy, I would love to take you out, but I think I need to leave you there <laughs> just in case. I'll come back for you. Don't get me wrong. But in the meantime, I wanna get some gems. I'll press that button and go through this door. I just do not wanna worry about you just yet, just in case I need it, you know? I feel like I should hold one of them off, you know? And I guess it'll be that guy for now. Hmm. I'll, I'll charge through, ow, this guy, that was not a good idea, apparently. Go ahead and throw it, and then I'll eat it up, spread out that thing, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. 10 more gems, very good. And what's up this way, a portal. We're not quite done the main level, so I'm gonna leave that be. Charge that. And where is that? Got it, got it. <laughs> He's done for, pretty good. The only weakness is his only weapon. What do you know? And hey, here we go, we made it to the end. I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am uh... a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? All right, so a bone, an egg, a treasure chest, a bandicoot. I really wanna say a bandicoot, it's an egg. Hmm, have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. All right, cool. It's Will. I, I sort of really am tempted to, uh, I wish I could have gone back and said a bandicoot. <laughs> I love the little references to Crash today. I've thousand years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Awesome, have some fun. Looks like he's got himself a vacation, and yes, come on in, it's laser time, Agent Nine. So we'll do that in a moment as well. I just wanted to grab, grab these gems. What is going on over this way with this thing? Uh. Oh, it's another sliding section, I love this. They just decided to randomly introduce this in the final world of the third and final game. And it's a ton of fun. That was a weird, I was holding right all the way that entire time. That's a little concerning. <laughs> Did we get a checkpoint? I hope we got a checkpoint. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't understand why it takes so long to load. Because like we're going, like it does, I don't know what it's reloading. I guess it's reloading some opponents or something. Hmm, anyways. Let's try this again. 
even though I was trying to take that turn tightly, it's like it didn't work out very well, like that. So, ooh, that's weird. That's, I'm just holding right all the way and it's just not working out. That has me a bit concerned. Um, a lot of this level has been really off. I don't get it. Like the rocks falling and I don't know, just a couple things about it. Like how am I gonna get, if I accidentally take out all the guys who throw stuff, I guess there's technically no way to get all the gems either. I don't know, it's super duper weird. I'll try it one more time. If not, maybe we'll just try the Agent 9 thing for now. You just like really gotta force yourself. Like maybe, is there a slowdown button? Doesn't seem like it to me. Okay, well doing that sort of worked. I don't know if that's what you're actually supposed to do. And boom, we got an egg, it's Malcolm. Hi Malcolm. <laughs> you seem happy. And that's 125 eggs in total. We still have three more eggs to get in this level. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the Agent 9 thing real fast. I know there's a portal to somewhere else as well. There's you still. Which once again, I wanted to hold on to you so that I can use some of your energy spheres. Ow, not this again. Man, I'm so tired of that. Okay, get that. That'll give us an extra life. And we can go into, well yeah, we'll do this portal first. Hello. The first round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. Ah. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Ah, 1,200 years, 100 years, 12 years, or one year. It is a little bit of like a, a brain twister. If, tw if a dragon can weigh, was it 12? Can I go back? Was it 12 eggs in one year? 100, well no, it must have been, but it wasn't one egg a year, was it? I don't know, it's a 1200. Oh, I am terribly nope. <laughs> sorry, but that is incorrect. Unless you can solve the riddle, we cannot trust you behind the controls of something so dangerous as a fully loaded demolition hovercraft. Okay, so let's hear it again, because I just need to- of the annual demolition yep. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one, one egg, egg every 12, 12 years, so for a- hundred dragons to lay a hundred eggs, it would just be 12 years. Very impressive, that is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. The question itself wasn't very difficult, it's just the fact that he threw numbers out at, me, at me all of a sudden and I wasn't prepared for it. Press the circle button for a straight shot, press the square button for a lob shot, use the L and R buttons to dodge left and right. All right, <laughs> a lot more simple than the riddle. So let's get to it. We can strafe. This seems pretty interesting. What are we going after? Not these pots. Oh, other opponents. Whoa! And of course they're all Ryanox. Honestly, I feel like these guys didn't solve the, the riddle. I feel like, oh, we can shoot over these little things out. Interesting, for sure. Oh, I like this. Can we use this on the outside area? I got. Well, the... well, that was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. MJ, oh, that's such a cute name. Yeah, I would love to be able to look at him juggle. I would love to use you that giant tank. You the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? Nah, I'm good, bring it on. My, my, such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. Press the circle button for a straight shot. Yep, we already know about all that. So let's get to it. But yeah, I'd love to bring this thing out into the main level and maybe beat up some of those sarcophagus sarcophaguses with this. Ooh, that hurt. Dodge, ooh. Ooh, that was not good, I've already fainted. <laughs> Poor Spyro. Try that again though, just because I feel like I, I didn't have my full uh, leveled up sparks. So I feel like that was the reason I lost, for sure. The strafing is very slow, though. So, like, I don't really know how we could have really dodged too many of those shots anyways. You may now and I know. Bring it on. Yep, yep, yep. So, I do see this guy right off the bat. Oh, tough to dodge that, for sure. I'm trying to look around for other guys. I know, I, I see this dude. Oh, got him. Oh, you stinker. <laughs> Get rid of that dude, and this dude. Actually, not bad. That's five out of 10 of them down already. 
So let's start going into these other areas. Our Sparks is already a little damaged. Oh, come on, it's so tough to dodge that kind of stuff. Got it. Got him. All right, well, we have much larger range than they do, it seems. <laughs> this thing is very slow. <laughs> it's sort of funny. How far does that go? That just goes forever. So in theory, if we can get a good angle, well, definitely I wanna get that bug for some health back. If I can ever hit it, it's too small. Okay, oh! No, wait, why did I die? Oh, darn it, come on! There we go, we got him. All we had to do was shoot a bunch. Make sure I actually grab the butterfly before I get hit again. So it can be going back up the blue sparks. And now we gotta drive back over this way. The problem is that these walls, oh, and these walls don't get in the way at all, actually. So I should be able to just hit you from here. Well, there we go, that was pretty easy. And if that's the case, oh, he's actively trying to hide behind it. I see you being sneaky. There we go, we got you. Easy as that. Oh, that was indeed ah, a we're floating. for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. It is a dragon egg. So we got MJ and TJ. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, TJ. We're still floating, by the way. Look at us. Oh no, we're broken. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> because I guess like I torched him out like, okay, now it's fixed. Right at the last second, that was super odd. Ow. Why does that hurt him? Ow. All right, sorry, buddy. Okay, so I think we're good in this area. Yeah, Sparks just wants to leave. Even though it looks like it's like primed for some secrets. Oh, that's weird, we can't even go over here. Oh, that's really odd. Oh, so we're just floating. Huh, odd. So yeah, let's get out of this portal. And we're gonna move this way and hope that there's no giant rocks falling after us so that we can go and do the Agent Nine part. One of those dogs are the funny hats, but a curse on me just cause I shot him in the butt a couple times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny come to think of it. Oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. Doesn't really look like a snake to me, but okay. Oh, hello. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you're able to solve my riddle. Oh, another riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Hmm. A shadow, time, a giant lizard, footsteps. Obviously time. I'm sorry, what? my simian friend, but that was not even close. Perhaps you would prefer to go play with a nice bouncy ball? But like, the, I disagree, but okay. We'll try again. Behind this door. I know, I know. So like footsteps. I mean, yeah, I guess I do follow you wherever you go and the more you go, the more you leave behind because you're walking away from the footsteps of a giant lizard. Footsteps. My, my, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. <laughs> you may proceed to the first trial. Alrighty. But I mean like, with time, the more time goes by, the more you're leaving behind. I guess it's sort of like how you, I judge that. What's with all these snakes? Oh, we have to fight them. All right then, this is a really weird angle. <laughs> I was not prepared for this, but this is a little bit better. And now we just shoot them away. Awesome, first trial done. And what's going on with this one? Oh my, uh, I don't know what those little golden buckets are about. More snakes are popping out of them, that's great. So we're gonna keep destroying them until we Oh, I gotta actually destroy the buckets as well. Got it. Come on. Oh, is that telling me how many are left? Because I guess I get respawned here. 14 and 15. There it is. Awesome. And oh, we got some mummy Rhinox in here. I actually want this extra health from the bug, if you don't mind. Once I sort of, it's weird. If you corner yourself, it's actually much easier. There we go. Get rid of this dude. Get that stuff, 13 out of 16, 14, 15, and where 16? Nope, I guess we got it, Never mind. Okay, so what do we do against the sarcophaguses again? Like maybe we could beat them up? Yeah, we can, actually really easy in one little shot. <laughs> Which was that easy for Spyro, apparently not though. Hmm, that's very weird. This level's been all kinds of odd. I don't know how to feel about it. It's like it's an okay level. I like the little slide again, you know, like, oh, and the snake's back. That was cool. Beyond that, it just 
little, a little weird stuff going on. I think I already hit that guy. No, I didn't. Ah, uh, that didn't count. Yeah, I can't beat him up just yet. Am I supposed to pick this up? Uh, let me beat up all of his friends first. How about that? Because I am not sure. Let me pick these up. It'd be cool. Yeah, I can. All right, so I can use those little grenades. Let me beat up, like I said, all of his friends as fast as I can. That way it won't be that big of a deal. Okay, these trials are getting a little tough. I don't know if this is the last one or not. I have to assume it is. Ow, ooh, that got me pretty good. Get rid of that, sarcophagus. Ow, mummy dude, be gone. Okay, so it's now just these three. So throw that over there. Okay, he just picks them up. Got it, and then lastly, you. And there we go, 25 out of 25, pretty good. And there's an egg waiting for us. Let me go and grab that. And I think that's the last egg, it's Roxy. Aw, hi Roxy. Huh? <laughs> Okie doke, so 128 eggs in total and that is all six of them here. So now it's just a mystery of, oh no, I don't wanna go back in. Go back. <laughs> Finding everything else. So right now he's saying, oh, there's something this way. And that should be this dude. Oh, is he not here anymore? This way, no, no, he should be right here. I didn't take him out specifically because there's some other things I need to take out. So if I pick this up, I don't wanna go the long way around, but I'm going to go the long way around just because I don't wanna deal with those falling rocks again, to be honest with you. So I think what I gotta do now is, is go down this way and destroy the sarcophaguses that should be over this way, these ones. I know this seems like a really long tail way to do it, but I currently see no other way on how to do it. Because you can't torch them, you can't do anything else. I guess I'll try going this way, but I'm already regretting it. Already regretting it. What the heck, that is so unfair. You just get stuck. Once you make the mistake, it's done. I don't get it. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so I've done it again. Oh, you're a jerk. Leave me alone. There we go. And there's another 10 gems. I can't believe this is the only way we can do this now. Why would they design the level that way? Super duper bizarre, because I've died a couple of times now to these darn rocks, and every single time, these guys don't respawn. It's weird, it's really weird. So this is literally the only way to do it. So I need to get back over here just like this. You're gonna toss one more, and then I'm gonna grab it, hopefully. There it is. Okay, keep going, keep going. Jump across. And I know this level like pretty well now, which is good, I guess. But it's still pretty tough just to figure everything out. There we go. So this is the last sarcophagus we gotta take out, and then we gotta take out the guy himself. So that might be a bit more of a problem. There we go, I'm glad I didn't miss. So as you can see, we're, we're still missing a good chunk of gems, actually. Unless he's gonna drop 12 gems. I mean, maybe he's gonna drop 10 gems and then somewhere around there's gonna be two gems laying around that I missed. Probably what's most likely. I don't know where I could have missed them, but I'll keep my eyes out for him. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, come on, like, you, this, uh, how can I see that? All right, he's gonna throw it. I'm going to catch it. It might be up there with him even. Boom. And I will grab that, thank you very much. And where is the two gems I'm missing? It might very well be, I hope I can make this jump. Yes, okay. Over here. Sparks is saying this way. Hmm. This way? And there it is. <laughs> All 700 gems. That was a big pain in the booty, to say the least. Big pain. So let's get through this one more time and finally leave this super tough level. Why would they design it that way? I have no clue. I don't know if it was like that in the original game, but it definitely shouldn't have been like that here in the remake. The exit is right over this way. What a tough level though. I'm good to leave it. We should still have a couple more levels to go, so we'll go ahead and tackle those. Okay, so where in the world is the next level? I'll be looking around for it. Uh, right here, Dino Mines. Oh yeah, that's right. So let's go ahead and check this one out and hopefully it'll be pretty cool. Ooh, look at this place. That is a cool looking dude. Is that an enemy or is that a friend? Guess we're about to find out. He seems a little big for a friend. Usually they're much smaller. And as you can see, as he just shot at us, he's not a friend. So I don't know what we're doing around here besides just fighting these guys. Let me go ahead and try to strafe them. That sort of worked, but he shoots for a while. 
and I saw another guy back this way, he had TNT. Oh, got him. Okay. Is there any conflict in this level or is it just a bunch of rootin' tootin' cowboys? Can't go in there. Because I don't see anybody I can help out or anything. Weird, okay, sure. Let's just take out some rootin' tootin' cowboys then. We got that over there. What about this? Oh, that'll drop a gem, worth doing then. And, oh, hello. Well, gosh darn it, Spyro. I came in here to check on my prisoner only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble and there's not a thing I can do about it. All right, well, now I'm gonna have to help you out. Well, gosh darn it, Spyro. Oh, I okay, never mind. I thought you had more to say. So I'm gonna have to get in there with you too if I wanna get those gems. Love to see about that. Don't think I can get up here for now. So it looks like, is there anywhere else to go in this room? You bet there is. There's a green gem and boom, a purple gem. Oh, watch it, but dude. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say buddy, but I realized I'm saying buddy way too often recently, so I'm trying to tone it back a little bit. Okay, so let's get rid of these cacti as much as we can, as soon as we can. Get rid of that thing and that thing. Oh, hello. I, I did not see you on the other side of this wagon. Weird. There's a lot of these dinosaurs and they're tough. Like they're really, really big too, which makes sense. They're dinosaurs. I mean, dragons are usually big, but not Spyro. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Grab you and then dodge it. Got him. Doing pretty well so far then. Huh. I keep on seeing those yellow gems twinkle in the distance and then I remember that they're in the jail cell, which I can't reach just yet. Hopefully soon. Watch it. They've learned to use the straight one a lot more in this level so far. Whoa, watch that dude, come on, wait. How's that not getting you? There we go, just had to knock you off. Yeah, he was a Triceratops, wasn't he? <laughs> Looking quite intense. Oh, look at this, little one up, I'll take it. Almost back up to 35, or 30 lives, not 35. We were at 35 lives. I've lost a lot of lives in the last couple of episodes. It's been a tough world, Midnight uh, Mountain. I was gonna say mansion, that's not right. <laughs> Midnight Mountain has been a really tough one. Almost a 5,000 gems though, that's pretty cool. Wish we could buy more lives. I mean, I don't really need them, I just like to have them, so maybe that'd be a little unnecessary. What's in the water? Oh, some gems down this way. I'm gonna get them. Perfect. And, is that a dinosaur? It's a seahorse. All right, I mean, have seahorses been around since prehistoric times? I'm sure it's potentially possible. How do I get these? If I run into them, they explode. Well, they're not getting, they're not giving me gems anyways. Why am I asking that? <laughs> I thought that they might have been. Oh, this is something. And it's an egg. It's Romy. He just roaming around. Ah, oh, look at you and your little pacifier. I don't think we've seen any with a pacifier before. That's a new one. Okay, grab that gem. Turning back around. Let's get some of this stuff done. And lots of little gems all over the place. So it looks like at some point this mine wasn't underwater. There's a lot of stuff in here. It would signify that before, maybe, oh gosh, he got flooded at some point. Come on, come on, get him. I don't have any points of health left, so I gotta be very careful and not hit any TNT intentionally, thinking that it would give me a gem, when it doesn't at all. Boom, gotcha. You can't strafe underwater, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage to me, but I also have an extra degree of movement up and down, you know? So that can also help. Just go out, for, go at him from under. So there's two more of them this way. Oh, did that get me? It got me. That stinks, gonna have to do it all again. All right, I'm back at these guys. Got him, and I missed him. <laughs> well, ow, dude, I can't see you. That's so rude. Get out of here, don't hit the TNT. Thank you, thank you. And then there's definitely some gems down here I can get. Boom, got it. Five gems, and this one. How are we doing? Halfway through, which actually isn't too bad for how much time we spent in this level so far. Ow, geez Louise. There's just like a bunch of stuff happening. These levels have gotten really, really difficult. So there's nothing else going on inside of here. So once we deal with this dude, boom, got him. And that knocked him out, no problem. Which weird is that we're not even really making contact with him. Ow. Well, apparently it's enough for him to hurt me. Oh. Darn, these guys are really tough. But did I ho hopefully I got a checkpoint out of all that. If not, I guess I can swim through it again, but man, it has been quite the challenge for sure. Where am I? Okay, yeah, I'm right here. Boom, oh, and you can't even just charge him. You gotta torch him. 
Interesting. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Get out of here! Everything is everywhere! It's insane! Oh my gosh, this is harder than the previous level. Get all this stuff. The desert level now, the very first one, with the scorpions and stuff, feels like a bit more of a cakewalk compared to all this. Boom. And then I'm back to dealing with this guy without any health. I'm not letting that happen. Well, I have to because that guy that gives me more health isn't here. Mr. all this cacti as well. I don't know if I actually got the gems from him. Missed a red gem right here and a green one right there. Okay, buddy. You're gonna try firing at me and I'm gonna immediately get hit by it because you move so quick. Oh my gosh. I gotta do it again. Okay, I have enough health just to charge at you this time. I'm trying to be tac tactical. I have some tactics going on last time, and that's when I end up getting taken out, but when I just rush into the situation, it turns out just fine. Hmm, so there is some kind of, uh, looks like it actually is Agent 9 again, cool. And there's definitely, yeah, something in here. Oh, hey, look at this, I broke you free. Well, I'll be, so that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the runt of the litter, though. It wasn't a dragon. I mean, it wasn't a dinosaur. It was a dragon. Don't you worry. Oh, your glasses. You can't see without those. Jump in, Jehoshaphat. That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. It ain't no dinosaur. All right, well, see ya. And you're returning back over that way. We still have plenty left to do, though, so let's keep exploring. There was nothing over this way. Okay, gotcha. But I can climb up what I think is a giant water tower, and inside, what do you know? There's water. There's a portal down here and everything, so we'll get to that in just a second. I just wanna grab all of this stuff. Okay, we're good. What'll this be? Oh, hello. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. All right, I can do it. It's mighty dangerous down there. You ought to watch out, you don't get hurt. I'll try my best. What's going on this way? Nothing. <laughs> Gotta make sure. So this is interesting. Whoa, we move super fast. This is like totally new. They're throwing in bunches of new things in this final Midnight Mountain world. The sliding and now this super speed. Are the controls inverted? Oh, they're inverted, all right. They're super inverted. Get rid of you. Don't know if that got me any gems or not. I don't have any hits I can take right now, by the way. I went into this with no health. So if I get through it, just fine. I'm gonna be mighty proud of myself. Oh, and I, <laughs> yikes. Okay, why do I only get a blue Sparks? Why, why, why not a full Sparks? Oh, there's baloney. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the inverted controls here. It's like up and down are inverted. So I press down to go up and up to go down, which maybe that would make more sense than giving it credit for, hard to tell. Okay, that was better. Dodge these rocks. I'm so done with falling rocks in today's episode. I gotta be honest. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if these guys drop gems or not, so I'm just trying to hit them just in case they do. I'm dodging as many TNTs as possible. I feel like I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. It didn't turn out very well. Okay, here we are again with all these giant TNTs. You only get one shot at that, and boom, we got a skill point, and we got an egg. Fine swimming, young dragon. And we got Elliot. Well, hello, Elliot. I like uh, Spyro's, like, he has a puffed up uh, cheeks. He's holding his breath like that. I've never really noticed it before, it's really funny. All right then, so let's get out of here. I think that's everything we needed from here, but we still need Gunfight at the Jurassic Corral, Agent 9. So there's still three more eggs to get. One of them at the least is gonna be through Agent 9. So let's just go ahead and focus on that for now, I suppose. And that is right over this way. That was actually pretty good. I should just say, come on in, it's laser time, Agent 9. Okay, let's try it. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. All right, let's get to it. Clearing out all those dinosaurs so we can be a deputy. If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I could tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. Will do. Darn tootin'. Well, good luck to you. Okie doke. Whoa, whoa, look at this. This is like one of those arcade games. I like it. Oh, let's get this as well. Oh, we missed some gems though. Oh gosh, I'm already gonna have to do that again. Gotcha. Interesting. So I gotta get this gem now. So I'm gonna already have to out, do this again. I'm down to 66 health, I suppose. Can I pick these gems up? Do they pick themselves up? What is with that? Get rid of, let's get rid of these windows, maybe? 
And that one? I don't know what that's doing for me. Maybe I can re-explore the stuff as Spyro? Get out of here. Got it. Nice. Hmm. This is very bizarre. What's happening? I'm going towards the wall. Why is Sheila wanted? Oh, Bentley's wanted as well. I guess all of our friends are wanted. Can get that glass door over there. Get that. Get that. What is the reward though? <laughs> 10,000 gems. That'd be quite a lot. 15,000. That's the whole game's worth. There we go. Oh, nice. Very cool. I'm getting them. Oh, hey, where are you coming from? This is so cool. I love this. Whoa. Got it. Got it. All right. No, I missed that one. Oh, no, maybe I got it. Oh, I heard it. Oh, gosh. They're all right in front of my face. Oh, I'm down to one health. Skill point acquired. We did it. I don't know why. What, what skill point did we acquire? Well, we got back to 100 health. I guess we're getting an extra life or something? I am not sure. There's still plenty more dinos to take down, though, so I can't give up just yet. Got it, okay. And there's still more. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I haven't been able to actually pick up any of these gems, but I'm just trying to get them. Ow, that hurt. Got him. I see this dude over there. There's a lot of bad guys. You got like a whole army. I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Oh, probably the sorceress. Okay, it's Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Nice cartwheel. I like it. You have anything else to say? I guess not. Now we can run through the level and actually get these. So I was, I guess I was sweating those a little too much. I was curious, though, what was that checkpoint? Or not the checkpoint, the skill point. It would probably be the farthest one along. Dino Mines, hit the secret dino. I didn't know there was a secret dino, and we also got a second skill point in this level, I saw, I'm sure you saw there. It was the, uh, get all the seahorses, which I just sort of did because I wanted to make sure we got the gems. Glad we were able to do it, though. So yeah, we'll just try to find as many gems as we possibly can in this area because we're still looking for 225 of them. Or actually, 125 of them. Or maybe 115. Sorry. Trying to do my math correctly. <laughs> Nothing in that window. You gotta make sure, though. Who would want a house against a cliff like this? I feel like that'd be so scary to wake up to every morning. I'd be like, good morning, world, ah! You know? I wouldn't want that. You're a little too drowsy, you might take a wrong step, and down you go. This is all kinds of scary. I bet there's a gem over here. There's a couple. Well, then there's two ways to go. Huh. Let's go this way first, maybe? I don't know if that's entirely a good idea. Let's go the other way first. But yeah, I actually really like Agent 9. He might be my favorite animal friend. I'd love to hear which one is your favorite now that we've seen all four of them. I mean, maybe there's more. But I don't think so. And there's, there's Sergeant Bird. But yeah, I'd love to hear which one is your favorite out of the four, Bentley, Sager, Sergeant Bird, Agent Nine, and uh, Sheila. I don't know, Sheila's really awesome too though. We got Sergio, and that's how you pronounce that. Hello. Good job. So that is another egg, Leap of Faith. Oh boy, where in the world is that one? I don't know. That sounds like it could be anywhere, <laughs> Leap of Faith. I'm hoping it's gonna be with Spyro though. Hmm. But it's between the two, you know, take it to the bank and the gunfight at the Jurassic Corral. I don't know. We'll have to keep looking for now. We got more windows we can break open. Can we go inside that building? Uh, not looking like it. Weird that you can even do that then. Can you break that? You can break the windows on this side. I already have. Okay. Well, there's still plenty of gems to get. Let's go ahead and get this purple one. Got it. Such a weird area. Got that yellow one. Get whatever this will be. This will be another purple and a yellow. Okie doke, so we have 5,300 gems. That's a nice even number. Fortunately, I'll have to mess it up here in a moment. I think. Oh, here we go. Hidden purple gem and hidden red gem. Oh, right here as well. <laughs> okay. Now where? I think he's you know pointing me back to the portal, but I'll try to be careful about this. Hmm, he's still pointing this way. If I move over here, yep, he's still pointing this way, which makes me think that it's the portal. So yeah, I'll run around and we'll, we'll take a look.
Yep, we're skedaddling now. So we found a good chunk of stuff there though, for sure. We only need 20 more gems. And hopefully wherever they are is also where the egg is. That would make this a bit easier. Saying that they're over here. Huh, okay, yeah, go ahead and grab that. It might actually, oh, they're over here. So how do I get those? Maybe by going around. Uh, I don't think so, but I'll try it. Oh, almost. I don't think that's right though. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. So I'll look around for the proper way. Nope, that's how you do it. Look at that, we get Dan. Why, why are you hiding away, Dan? <laughs> Hi. Well, now you don't have to worry about it. You're with the rest of your dragon family. And look at that, we have all of the gems, right? No, we're still missing five. Where could they be? Oh, in this cactus. I'm so glad I didn't walk away. Okay, so not really too much of a way to get back, though. I'm, I'm just gonna have to go back the way I came. Ooh, there it is. Okay, so that is perfect. This level is 100% complete, which means we can skedaddle on out of here. I think the exit is right over this way, right? Yes, it is. So let's return home and we will get whatever levels are left to, do to be done, done. Okay, so I think that over here, this is the last level. I mean, I've been following this whole path and yeah, it looks like it to me. So this is Harbor Speedway. Let's get to it and hopefully get it done pretty quickly. Okay, look at this place. This is the world famous Harbor Speedway, the most elite of all rare race courses. Only the world's top racers are allowed to compete here. The local champions are a group of blue-footed boobies who have never lost a race. So I'm guessing like that's like the type of bird, right? Uh, which challenge would you like to, to play? Uh, time attack, race the blue-footed boobies, or let's do time attack. The easiest way to beat this time trial is to do it in the following order. Seagulls, arches, lobsters, fish. Complete each one before moving on to the, ra to the next. Seagulls, lobsters, archers, fish. So here are the seagulls. Got them. Okay, keep going. Got them. So we're just gonna follow these seagulls as much as we can. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, get this one. Even though they so, sort of look more like pelicans. Oh, can we go here? This might be a little bit better. And then go for it. Got it. Two more left. So after this, seagulls, arches, lobsters, fish. So I can go like this. Maybe that's a bit of a mistake to do. Just be careful. Got it. Lots of these cool iron arches. These look really awesome. I like them. And I'm sure that, you know what, Hunter's gonna be in that. In that right there. We need to find Hunter in each level, right? He's definitely gonna be in there. And that's the last arch. Now we're gonna focus on these lobsters. They're like, no, 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 fly this way. They're not very happy looking. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Go back into doing this. Cause I think it's a little bit faster to do that. We got 30 seconds left. I think we'll be able to make it happen. And now the fish. So they just float around on this weird clam scooter or something. Are they old? Like are they old men fish? Because they sort of have like little walkers almost. It's odd. There we go, we got it. You're the second to last one. And you right here are the last one. There we go. Very, very cool. So on the first try, we got it done with 10.9 seconds to spare. I like that, that's gonna be 400 gems. So we're gonna quit that one. And let's see what he has to say now. Wow, you just beat the Harbor Speedway time trial. Only a handful of racers in the world have done that. I can't wait to tell the other dragons back home and we get Kobe. I think it's Kobe. Sorry if I'm wrong. Anyways, there we go. There's that dragon, 135 of them. With Which challenge would you like to play? We're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the race. The red dots will guide you, but you'll need to fly through all of the green checkpoints uh, rings to complete the course. The blue stars will also give you a speed boost, so fly through as many of them as you can. So this can be rather difficult at time. At times. Um, so we'll just do what we can. Oh, maybe it was a bit of a mistake to do that. Wow, why did I just like totally kill my momentum? That's weird. Um, but we'll race around as much as possible. Try to stick to the air then. But we, ooh, we even have these right here. So that'll be quite helpful. Taking care of opponents with a blast, but I need to make sure I'm close to them before I do it. Looks like there might have been a speed up ring over this way. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I don't know where the ring is. I need to like learn the map a little bit. Got it. But we'll see what we can do. That seems to get him. Very good, very good. Okay, don't get that one. Get this guy out of my way. But yeah, it looks like these are a type of bird. Good to know. Oh boy, I hope we can win this one. These races are always super tough. So I'd like to get it done as soon as possible because it's almost dinner time and I don't want to mess out on that. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and grab that. And then I definitely want to, oh, and then go straight up. 
Oh my gosh, we got some major hang time for that one though. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. But yeah, let's see. Will this kill my momentum this time? Not as much, for sure. I think that was actually a smarter move. I feel like we gained a little bit of speed during that. Okay, so I wanna grab and then like immediately shoot it. And it got him, good. That'll slow him down a little bit. But we're still way back in fifth place. So yeah, I'm actually fine for getting all three of these stars here. Oh, that's super good. We get some major speed for that one. Okay, then go over the ship. Go like this. Don't bother with that, that power up, but I can get this one right here. Whoa, okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We're in fourth place now. I could have dived under this overhang to get another blue speed up. Gotta keep that in mind. Get that, and boom. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't think I wanna get that one. The, the amount of like turn turning that I had to do, I feel like isn't very beneficial. So it's lap three or three we're about to hit. And I'm only in fourth place, which just doesn't seem very good. So I need to make things happen this lap. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I'll definitely, definitely try. And that's what matters. Got it. Oh, I missed it, darn, just barely too. That stinks. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about it, I'm still in second place and we're only in the second lap, so that was just sort of not cool though. Oh man, just trying to get the speed up there. That has me really nervous about that shortcut. And I don't even know if he uses it, so it might not be worth stressing about, but as long as we can just keep up with this dude, I gotta beat him. It's the second to last lap, we're making our way into the third final lap now. And we're about to get this done. He got the speed boost there too, but I'm getting it as well, so I have nothing to worry about. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm definitely gonna use this. Don't miss this ring this time. Oh, we got him, we got him. We're catching up, you better be careful, buddy. Yeah, it's really important to use the power-ups to get the guy in first place, but he didn't even use these speed boosts. All right, well, I'll gladly use them. Oh my gosh, who oh, don't touch the water. The, the water was is, is an instant takedown. So, that was really scary. I hit the wall, but I was able to immediately correct it. I'm not gonna do the speed up then. I gotta not risk that. Just go this way. There's no way he can catch up at this point, right? We keep cutting corners like this. There's the finish line, I saw it there. We can't quite get it now. But if we keep going at this rate, we'll definitely get it soon. Get this speed boost, grab this ring. I'm not getting that one, don't risk it for no reason. Got it, and here we go, the final stretch. We're going right for it, come on! Boom, first place, 251 is actually a pretty good time. I would like to quit from that. Awesome. The bird said they didn't feel too bad about losing to a dragon. After all, people say dragons used to own all of the speed records here a thousand years ago. And we get Jesse, very cool. So we still have to do one more thing and that's find Hunter. So let's go, oh wait, well can we? Yeah, I guess so, Hunter's not lost anymore. Which challenge would you like to play? I would like to do the time attack. And I think he's going to be in the, the lighthouse. So I'm gonna quickly check in there. And it's hope for it, it's Hunter's Pursuit. So hopefully it won't be too difficult. Like I said, I'm like already like a minute late to dinner time. Nobody's gonna appreciate that. Hello. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those rings. I'm gonna All right. chase him down. Good luck, hurry up already. I'll be right back. So we gotta follow between the smoke rings. So there's actually no shooting here. I feel like this could either be really fun or really difficult. But the flying controls for Hunter really aren't that bad. It's the shooting that's usually not so good because you need a reticle to really do it properly and they just don't give you one. So let's just keep through these rings and just sort of follow his behind, I guess. If we keep Hunter trying to be centered on the light of the back of his ship, I feel like in theory we should be able to get everything fine. Maybe not exactly, I don't know. There we go. Go down, just also try really hard to match his altitude because he lets go of those rings right before, I mean like we're really close behind him, you know? So if we could just match his altitude, that's a really big deal because if not we might go right under them or right over them and not notice it until it's too late. Got it, oh no. Ooh, glad he didn't drop any there because that was a really hard altitude to follow. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what? Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming what? from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly what? off. I'm gonna chase him down. What? I, 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 I got it. <laughs> Come on. All right, so this is where I messed up before. 
I got it, so the game can't say that I didn't, even though I clearly did before. Oh, and we're back to the beginning. Oh, did we do it? I hope so. Oh, he's exploding. Boom, nice. Yes, that was close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. All right, so get Sarah. Our uh, 130, like eighth egg, I think, something like that. All right, very cool. She's putting bubbles. All right, very cool. So with that being done, which ones would you play? I would like to chip play none of them. We'll finish up with this level. And with that being said, that is every single level, I think, in Midnight Mountain beyond the Sorceress. So what we're gonna be doing next episode, the plan is to actually go through the game again from the very beginning and try to get all the levels we haven't 100% fully complete completed next episode. Don't know how long that's gonna take because there are some levels that have like the spark sign. I don't know what those levels are. So it might be a long level. I might break it up into two episodes. I really don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. And then after that, we'll take on the Sorceress and be 100% done with the game. Then another episode of the, the, what are they called? The skill points. And then technically, I think would be 100% done the Reunited Children. So things are really coming to an epic conclusion, I have to imagine. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Egg, Sony have watched at the end if you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.